He replaced General Norman Schwarzkopf as Chief of Central Command in the Middle East in 1991. General Joseph Hoare and several other retired generals signed off on an ad in the Washington Post this week. It urges President Obama to avoid military action in Iran. Hoare thinks there needs to be a national discussion, not a political debate about going to war with Iran. Nobody ever discussed uh, eight or ten years ago what the cost was going to be for invading Iraq. The cost turned out to be a trillion dollars, 4,500 Americans killed, nearly 20,000 wounded, and not to mention the 100,000 Iraqis that we killed. Uh, this is the kind of toll of war that we need to think through. He says anyone that thinks going to war with Iran would be simple doesn't understand the nature of that part of the world. He said, if you think the price of gas is high now, imagine paying 10 or $11 a gallon in California if you shut down Iran. The war is being fought in the Persian Gulf, so oil from UAE, oil and gas from Qatar, oil from, uh, 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 from Kuwait isn't going out through the Persian Gulf. Saudi Arabia has the ability to pump oil across to the Red Sea, but they're the only country there. That's going to drive oil prices sky high, not only here, but in Europe and every place else around the world. The U.S. has nuclear capabilities. Uh, Israel has nuclear capabilities. Yeah. Why would it be so terrible if Iran had a nuclear bomb? Uh, the, the problem is, is that you have an irresponsible leader in, in Iran that openly says that the country is prepared to uh, attack Israel. Whether that is true or not re would remain to be seen, but it's the sort of circumstances that you cannot allow to just let's see what happens.